hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about what makes you desirable so we'll be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for the card selections. So what makes you desirable? What makes you desirable? Okay, we have the Page of Wands for pile number one. Pile number two, we have the King of Cups. And pile number three, we have the death card. Okay. So pile number one, page of wands. Pile number two, king of cups. And pile number three, we have the death card. Okay. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pal One! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you pick the page of wands and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So let's get started. My pile number one, what makes you desirable? What makes you desirable, my pile number one? okay so what i'm getting is, is your charisma your enthusiasm okay your stamina and i'm also getting your courage what makes you desirable my pal number one wow we have the emperor so definitely your strength your power okay whether male or female here what makes you desirable we have the sun didn't i say your vitality a lot of fire here your sensuality as well i'm getting but definitely like your presence is very appealing very attractive okay with the sun i'm also getting um i did say your courage okay i'm then getting like you're very courageous and successful you have a great um head on your shoulder that's what makes you desirable what makes you desirable we have the queen of pentacles okay the fact that you're nurturing that you're caring okay you may have earth element in your chart so wow we even have water so we have almost all the elements we're only missing air so definitely fire water and earth so far so you really have a good balance of emotional maturity with the king of cups you're very compassionate that's what makes you desirable and with the queen of pentacles you have like a down-to-earth personality okay and that's what makes you desirable yeah you're generous we have the six of pentacles that came out you're i'm getting like extremely generous with your time with your resources okay um, I see that like also you like to give out to the needy maybe you do some charity work on the weekends and that's what makes you desirable like, I feel like you have a lot of suitors that watch you that pay attention to how you treat others and really the way you respect people it makes you very desirable with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups what makes you desirable my pal number one wow we have the four of wands okay your stability how grounded that you are 
Also, when people are around you, they always have a good time because the four of wands can represent good news, can represent having fun, okay? So they definitely have a good time in your energy. They have a good time around you and it makes you desirable how people just gravitate towards you. So what makes you desirable, my pal? What do we have here? We have the death card. So definitely intriguing. There's like a mysterious air to you with the death card. You may have Scorpio in your chart. We have Scorpio, we have um, Leo, and we have Aries. So you may have any of those signs in your chart, but you're extremely uh, uh, mysterious and resilient. This is what I'm getting here, and that's what makes you desirable. What makes you desirable? What makes you desirable? We have the judgment. So you're a great judge of character. You know how to assess a situation with a judgment card and that's what makes you desirable to the opposite sex, the same sex, it doesn't matter your sexual orientation, but that's what potential suitors notice about you and it makes you like very attractive. So what makes you desirable? We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands could represent burden, responsibilities, okay, having so much on your plate. But I see that you are able to manage this very well because we have the emperor. An emperor is definitely somebody who's able to handle like a lot and they have a lot on their plate. They're able to manage many things at once. So I'm getting that vibe that you come off as somebody who could handle a lot of responsibilities, okay? And you're reliable and that's what makes you desirable as well. So what makes you desirable? We have the six of wands, okay? You're respected, and not only that, you show respect to others with the Six of Wands, and that's what makes you desirable, okay? Everywhere you go, people just love you, love to be in your energy. I'm really getting that. What makes you desirable? We have the Knight of Wands, okay? So you could be flirtatious, okay, with the Knight of Wands, but definitely compassionate, um, adventurous as well. Like you draw a lot of attention to you effortlessly. You don't have to try too hard with the Knight of Wands. You just have like this sex appeal, this natural sex appeal to you. And definitely with the Death card as well, that Scorpio Scorpionic energy. What makes you desirable? Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles. You're financially stable and you're self-sufficient. This is what I'm getting here. And that's what makes you desirable. Okay, the fact that you could take care of your own, that you don't need other people. Wow, you see King of Pentacles, guys. We have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. So definitely your stability is extremely appealing. And like I said, it's desirable. Okay, you're self-sufficient. You're reliable as well. You have a lot of compassion with the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, like a lot of grounding energy, a lot of earthy energy where you're definitely somebody that people could depend on, people could rely on, they could trust, you know? What makes you desirable? What makes you desirable? Guys, this is the King of Pentacles again definitely that grounding energy is like the main thing that I'm getting here that makes you desirable. It's like also you have this um, paternal or maternal instinct so people could tell that you would be a very caring, very nurturing parent. What makes you desirable? King of Wands. Your fiery nature, and we do have the emperor and the sun, so definitely that uh, fire energy is here, okay? The fact that you are confident in yourself, okay? The fact that you are a go-getter, a self-starter, you're definitely a leader here, and that's what makes you desirable. What makes you desirable, my pal number one? What makes you desirable? Just one, please. What makes you thank you? We have temperance. We have all the fire signs. So you definitely have 
a lot of fire in your chart or you could be any of the fire sign because now we have temperance which is sagittarius energy so your wisdom your knowledge okay is very desirable that's what makes you desirable the way you think the way you articulate okay the way you see the world you're open-minded it makes you extremely desirable when people have conversation with you they like to pick your brain okay they like to learn your methods and this is what i'm getting here with the temperance and what i'm also getting is that you're calm cool and collected under pressure and that's what makes you desirable what makes you desirable my pile number one okay we have the five of swords and the five of swords came out twice five of swords could represent conflict uh, we have the ten of wands this is also responsibilities what makes you desirable we have the page of swords okay you're very you're extremely intelligent because we have the page of swords this is somebody who observes a situation this is somebody who pays attention to every little detail and the five of swords can represent an energy of conflict it can represent an energy of like people with um bad or ill motives so what i'm getting here what makes you desirable is that how you handle yourself in a situation where people um don't get along with you or they try to test you with the five of swords to see how you're going to react but you remain cool under pressure okay this is what i'm getting here and that's what makes you desirable what makes you desirable my pal number one what makes you desirable so we have the sun we have the nine of wands and we have the world so you could definitely be popular with the star car or you just have like a very healing energy you could have um you could be in the craze or have a craze in your chart we have the nine of wands you're definitely somebody who has a lot of inner strength with the nine of wands and you're not easily swayed and this is what makes you desirable we have the world card so you may have traveled around the world you're um, like I'm getting well traveled and that's what makes you desirable so when people have conversation with you it's not the boring mundane um, like celebrity gossip I'm really getting like you could go into deep conversation okay about different culture different religion okay so your mind like I said is broad so this is definitely that Sagittarius energy, okay? So what makes you desirable? We have the fool. You walk to the beat of your own drum. You're definitely a leader. You have a lot of faith. Sorry about that, guys. What makes you desirable? Wow, we have the king of pentacles like three times. Whew pal number one you're definitely grounded here what makes you desirable we have the six of swords okay so we have the fool we have the king of pentacles and we have the six of swords so the king of pentacles came out and i'm getting like three times well three times is a charm the third time is a charm but like i'm really getting your grounded energy is what makes you extremely desirable the fact that you could ho hold your own without other people and you're resourceful okay so maybe you started your business from the from scratch and you build yourself up without the help of other people or like you knew how to flip your money double your money okay you figure out a way to uh, grow your money by investing it you're very knowledgeable when it comes to finances and that's what makes you extremely desirable and with the six of swords that's that calm energy because six of swords is like uh, moving to calmer waters it's also like a peaceful energy as well because it's like you're moving from the five of swords to the six of swords where five of swords is like you know challenges and um conflict while the six of swords is more peaceful it's more balanced so definitely that balanced energy is what makes you desirable okay and also peace of mind that's what i'm getting you bring a lot of peace of mind to people what makes you desirable my pal number we have four of wands again 
Yeah, you definitely have that grounded energy. You make people feel good in your energy. Like they could trust you. They could talk to you. You bring them a lot of joy. They're always happy. You also um, make people think outside the box. You inspire them because the four of wands can represent inspiration as well. New beginning, the birth of new ideas, creation. So this is what makes you desirable. When people leave a conversation with you, they always uh, feel renewed. What makes you desirable? We have the two wands. Yeah, you see, this is another card of creation. What makes you desirable? A lot of fire here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles, another grounded energy. Okay, so what makes you desirable as well is that you are a loyal person with the Knight of Pentacles. You pay attention to details. You're meticulous in your approach. You do have this, um, even though you come off as somebody who is a very vibrant, okay, you, do, you still do have, wow, I can't even speak. You still have a cautious nature to you with the Knight of Pentacles. And that's what makes you actually extremely desirable. And we have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The fact that you are extremely skilled at what you do and you always like to perfect your craft, okay? You're never satisfied with the status quo. You always see that there's room for improvement in anything that you do, okay? Even like your style, the way that you speak, the way that you think, there's always room to become better, okay? You always aim for self-improvement and that's what makes you desirable, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal, number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the king of pentacles. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings. So let's get started, my pal number two. What makes you desirable, my pal number two? I'm definitely getting the fact that you're compassionate with the King of Cups. A lot of emotional maturity. Okay. Very caring nature. And highly intuitive. What makes you desirable? What makes you desirable? Wow. You're extremely patient with the Seven of Pentacles. You are also loyal. What makes you desirable? Okay, we have the Death card and we have the King. Oh no, this is the Emperor. So Aries energy and Scorpio, Scorpio energy. Okay, you're definitely powerful. You have a strong presence to you with the emperor and the death card okay you're very extremely uh mysterious this is what makes you desirable and you're definitely a self-starter a leader you don't mind working with people but you prefer to work alone with the emperor and the death card what makes you desirable you're definitely a visionary with the three of wands okay you're highly creative as well. And that's what makes you desirable. One card, please. What makes you desirable? Wow, we have the Queen of Wands. You're extremely attractive. Your confidence. You exude a power, okay? With the Queen of Wands. You're definitely sure of yourself. 
and you are definitely a self-starter that fire that burns in you that desire that uh, passion okay is what makes you desirable to others okay they see how much you put your heart and soul into anything that you do and how you go hard for your dreams and how you go hard for like what you believe in okay and that's makes people like very intrigued as well okay what makes you oh, what makes you desirable we have okay we have the nine of pentacles so definitely your style the fact that you are self-sufficient your faith with the fool and we have high priestess didn't i say your intuition yeah you're highly intuitive okay you have esoteric knowledge definitely because you watch tarot so you definitely have some sort of esoteric knowledge um definitely the way that you see the world is extremely different from what people are used to the type of conversation that you like to have but what makes you desirable as well is the fact that you are self-sufficient and you have an amazing style you're the eligible bachelor or bachelorette Okay, and I feel like some of you have been single for a long time. And while you were single, while being single, you've been improving yourself, especially with the death card. This is improvement, Scorpio energy. And Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. So you've been working on your own because Nine of Pentacles is somebody who created their wealth by their own merit, by their own work, their own action. So that's what makes you extremely desirable to others, okay? What makes you desirable to others? What makes you desirable? Okay, we, wow, we have the four of wands. Okay. Your stability, your emotional stability, your home life stability, because the four of wands can represent home. And that's what makes you desirable. You either you come from a healthy background where your parents are married or you want to establish this for yourself where you had to branch yourself out of like maybe your family setting where it was unstable and you create something st stable for yourself. And that's what makes you desirable to other suitors, to other like even friends that want to be around you because they could sense that you are stable within yourself. So being around you would like ignite that energy that's going to propel them to be stable themselves, okay? They'll, they'll feel grounded in your energy. What makes you desirable? What makes you desirable, my pal? We have the Page of Pentacles. You are definitely trustworthy with the Page of Pentacles. You definitely have that vibe where people could definitely count on you. You're reliable, and that's what makes you desirable. But you also um, are reserved because the Knight of uh, the Page of Pentacles is like. A friendship card but it's also somebody who is more on the reserve side on the cautious side and it makes you desirable because people still want to peel the layer of your personality or who you are so that way they could get closer to you okay what makes you desirable what makes you desirable okay we have temperance Sagittarius energy so your knowledge the fact that you like to go on an adventure because sagittarius is an adventurous sign oh you always seem to know the good things like the good like the best restaurants the best you know cafe you always on like 10 step ahead of the crowd okay and that's what makes you desirable people just like to learn from you they always like whenever they have a conversation with you they always learn something new okay it's never a dull moment with you what makes you desirable my pal number two what makes you desirable what do we have here wow you're generous you have a beautiful heart with the six of pentacles what makes you desirable? One card, please. Wow, we have, didn't I say you like to work alone? The Hermit. You would prefer to work alone. Definitely, you're healthy. 
you have beautiful hair whether you're male or female here you have healthy hair if you're a man like you have a healthy um, hairline and your beard as well is healthy full if you do have a beard or you just have clear beautiful skin you take really good care of your health your teeth amazing beautiful smile I'm getting for a lot of you healthy body lean body no matter your age you definitely like we could tell that you take good care of yourself and that's what makes you desirable your health is your wealth okay and you know that and you exude that when people walk with you or walk beside you they could see that you are very strong within yourself and also your body because you take really good care of your like your physical appearance yeah i'm, I'm getting also amazing hygiene what makes you desirable what makes you desirable my pal number two what makes you desirable okay we have the moon so definitely highly intuitive what makes you desirable my pal number wow we have the emperor again we have the magician and we have the wheel of fortune and i'm being called to take all three the emperor coming out twice you definitely have that boss energy okay your presence is felt you definitely have great leadership skills and that's what makes you desirable we have the magician you're highly skilled talented some of you I'm getting like play the piano I just heard the saxophone as well we have the wheel of fortune luck seems to always be on your side Okay, I'm getting like you're the type of person that can manifest like a parking spot when wherever you want, like a specific parking spot, you always make it happen. And that's what makes you desirable. Your optimism, your power of manifestation. What makes you desirable? We have the page of swords. You have a curious mind. You like to ask questions and the type of question that you ask invoke stimulating conversation and invoke like deep response from the other party okay what makes you desirable we have temperance again that sagittarius energy like i said it's never a dull moment with you it's always fun the conversation are amazing People just learn from you. You open up people's mind to different ways of seeing the world, different ways of thinking, okay? Different possibilities. You bring them like optimism and this is what makes you desirable. You give people hope, I'm getting, even though the star card is not here, I'm getting like a hopeful energy. What makes you desirable? We have the two of pentacles. The fact that you could juggle multiple responsibilities at once, that you're highly skilled with the three of pentacles, you have a great reputation, your reputation precedes you, where people go with you, um, when people speak of you, they speak highly of you, you're definitely respected with the three of pentacles. What makes you desirable? Okay. We have, wow, temperance three times. Guys, that Sagittarius energy is coming through. Oh, gosh, guys. Definitely a lot of wisdom, too. With the Sagittarius energy, your wisdom, your knowledge makes you desirable. Like, people fall in love with your mind. Yes, they love the way you look because you look amazing. Nine of Pentacles, you know, you have an amazing style. You're beautiful. You're attractive with the Queen of Wands. But it's also your mind that makes people want to get to know you more. The type of conversation that they have with you, you stimulate their mind. You make them think outside the box with the Temperance card. What makes you desirable? My pal, number, we have the Six of Swords, that calm energy, okay? That poised energy, very balanced energy. Wow, Nine of Pentacles again, guys. Definitely your style. That makes you desirable. You like, you have expensive taste. Yeah, guys, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Definitely the truth, okay? 
your your style is impeccable this is what i'm getting here with the nine of pentacles coming out twice and the rooster mm, yeah when you walk i'm getting like so fresh so clean like everybody just stops and stare you have like this unique style to you as well you wear like i'm getting i don't know why i just heard expensive cologne or perfume like you have that distinctive smell when people walk past you it's like the fragrance is uh, amazing it's a fragrance to remember it may be even a unique um like or maybe a perfume that not a lot of people wear okay what makes you desirable my pal number two we have the lovers okay you definitely have that lover vibe and this is what i was getting like it's never a dull moment because that's also gemini energy okay because sagittarius and gemini is very like well they're opposite sign and they do have similar energies as well what makes you desirable what makes you desirable wow we have justice you're fair in your dealings you have a lot of integrity with the justice here libra energy okay well balanced we have the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is definitely that earthy energy that loving energy that motherly energy that's what makes you desirable wow we have the six of cups mm, you give that nostalgic feeling it, like that teenage feeling where like people feel like they are teenager again you bring them a lot of fun okay it's not like no immaturity i'm not getting that vibe i'm getting more like that nostalgic nostalgic feeling of like the past when you were in high school and you know you guys were having a good time laughing with your friends you know good memories that's the vibe that you give okay you make people feel like a teenager again like where they could just have fun and let their hair down they don't have to worry about too much they don't have to worry about being judged or looked at funny okay definitely you give them that vibe and that's what makes you desirable okay they could be young again like forever young with you i just heard that beyonce and jay-z song forever young that's the vibe that you give and that's what makes you desirable okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked a death card and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings. So my pal number three, what makes you desirable? And what makes you desirable my pal number three? So I'm definitely getting your mysterious demeanor okay you're very alluring very attractive okay that scorpionic energy where when you walk in a room everybody is like intrigued by you they wonder who this person is all eyes on you what makes you desirable my pal number three we have the three of cups we have, ooh, the devil, that sexiness, didn't I say? You guys are very alluring, very attracting, okay? We have the three of cups and the devil. This is Capricorn energy, so you could have Capricorn or Scorpio in your chart, but you're definitely magnetic, okay? With these two coming out, yeah, definitely magnetic energy and you have like this energy of like with the three of wands a lot of joy a lot of happiness a lot of fun okay a lot of play playfulness energy 
we have the knight of swords and we have the moon okay there's a lot of mystery to you there's definitely more to you than meets the eyes but i'm also getting because of that devil and that scorpio energy with um capricorn and the death card oh gosh i'm getting like you're very alluring there's like people cannot get away from you they just want to be in your presence they just become obsessed with you okay like your desire like you in like you invoke a lot of sexual desire in others as well okay like yes they desire you as to be your lover but like that sexual desire is very strong for you pile number three some of you could even be like still virgin or celibate okay we have six of pentacles you have a lot of generosity but we have the knight of swords so you're definitely intelligent you're quick on your feet with the knight of swords and that's what makes you desirable you have amazing comebacks okay when people trying to tease you or trying to poke holes at you you know how to stand your ground you know how to come out with like amazing comebacks to the like you know if somebody sneaks this you you know how to come back i'm really getting that with the knight of swords you're extremely observe ob uh, observant i can't even speak we have um strength card you have amazing inner strength you're courageous you're also gracious okay with the strength card that leo energy i'm also getting with the strength card you definitely give a vibe of a royalty okay and that's what makes you desirable you're regal okay when you walk in the room you present yourself with such prestige with such honor okay i'm really getting that vibe when you walk in the room you don't you don't come off as like cocky or trying to make people feel bad about themselves is that confident that you exude when you walk in the room and that's what makes you desirable and that sexiness that sex appeal is natural it's authentic you don't have to force it you don't have to dress provocatively you just dress naturally like based on the shape of your body your body is fully covered for the women i see this okay and if you like you show your a body part like you know maybe your top you know not showing your breasts or anything like that but just more a little bit of cleavage or just a little bit of legs you know how to balance things out so it's like if you show a little bit of cleavage you're not going to show your full legs and if you show your legs you're not going to show your cleavage at the same time i hope that makes sense okay but this is what i'm getting here very classy and that's what makes you desirable what makes you desirable my pal number three we have the page of wands okay you're you're very optimistic we have the queen of pentacles that balanced energy that grounded energy and i feel like it's with that capricorn energy too okay because queen of pentacles earth so what makes you desirable you're modest i'm getting to like you have everything to flaunt but you still choose to be modest about it and we also have um the hermit virgo energy physically fit this is what i'm getting here and that's what makes you um desirable your knowledge your wisdom the fact that when you walk in the room even those all eyes on you you still choose to be quiet you don't say much you just observe the room you read the room before you engage in any conversation and that's what adds to your mystery and that's what makes you even more desirable okay is that you you speak less and you listen more okay this is what i'm getting with the um, hermit card what makes you desirable my pal we have the eight of pentacles your dedication the fact that you're always improving yourself with the eight of pentacles you're definitely very skilled at what you do i feel like you even have co-workers that crush on you at work okay what makes you desirable we have the nine of pentacles wow eight nine we're only missing ten but definitely you have a beautiful style your sense of fashion okay the fact that you're self-sufficient you're resilient as well extremely talented what makes you desirable what do we have here we have the two swords what makes you desirable 
we have the two wands, so two twos, 22. So you may see this number often, two two. So the two swords can represent um, confusion, can represent being a stalemate, can represent not making a decision, but it could also represent not like um, letting things get to you or choosing yourself over others, like not making a choice between two options, okay, or stalling, okay, not being quick to make a decision. So taking your time, analyzing both sides of like the options that you have, the pros and cons. So that's what makes you desirable. You're not in a rush to make a decision. You like to take your time. You like to reevaluate your options, okay? And choose the best one for you. This is why I was getting like, when you walk in the room before you engage in conversation or just address everybody, you like to read the energy, you like to read the vibe before you engage in a conversation and people find that very appealing and that's what makes you desirable we also have the two wands and the two wands it's like a man with two wands and a globe in their hand like in their hand okay and the globe can represent a world view um world vision and the wands represent creativity um sexual energy okay it could also represent spirituality so what i'm getting is that you are extremely grounded in who you are and that's what makes you desirable you know your skills you know your talent and you know what you bring to the table so you're not easily swayed what makes you desirable my pal number three Ooh, nine of cups. You're definitely wish fulfillment for a lot of people. What makes you desirable? What makes you desirable? My pal number three. We have the three of cups again and the six of wands that came out. So definitely you're respectful with the six of wands. And also you have a great reputation. You're definitely successful in your all your endeavors, especially with the Eight of Pentacles being here. And we have the Three of Cups. You're definitely a friendly person. You're very nice, you're very cordial. So it's like, like it, wow, I can't even speak. It's not like you're rude or anything like that because I did say when you walk in a room, you like to assess the room, read the vibe before you engage in a conversation. However, if somebody approaches you, you're not going to be rude. You're not going to roll your eyes. You're not going to do all of that extra stuff. You're definitely going to be cordial. You're definitely going to be nice to the person, but you know how to exit a situation before you become um, arrogant or rude. You know how to hold your tongue. You know how to like maneuver in a like difficult situation okay so what makes you desirable we have the chariot you're definitely disciplined with that cancer energy you're focused we have all the water signs here so you definitely have that emotional stability emotional maturity okay and with the chariot, what makes you desirable is that you are disciplined in yourself and you are a go-getter. You know what you want out of life. You know where you're going, okay? You know how to get there as well, okay? And that's what makes you desirable. You have like a, a plan for your life. What makes you desirable, my pal? We have the page of pentacles. Didn't I say that friendliness? What makes you desirable? We have the hangman. And that goes back to the two of swords. I was saying that you take, you analyze the situation before you make a choice or you take a leap of faith. With the hangman, it's the same thing. And we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck again. So definitely you take your time and you do things outside the box. And that's what makes you desirable. You come up with fresh new ideas or new perspective, or you look at things from a different angle, okay? You look at every little detail, and that's what makes you desirable. Your mind, the way it operates. What makes you desirable, my pal, number three? Ooh, now we have the 10, 10 of pentacles. 
and you see how there's a couple on the on the card so definitely you make an amazing partner and that's what makes you desirable people see a future with you they see a solid foundation with you because you are solid on your own so you're definitely a force to be reckoned with okay what makes you desirable we have the king of pentacles okay and we do have the queen of pentacles so definitely a couple here you give that vibe that nurturing energy that grounded energy with the king of pentacles self-sufficient as well okay and somebody who is reliable and trustworthy what makes you desirable that's way too many cards what just one please what makes you desirable thank you we have the wheel of fortune okay extremely lucky okay you give that vibe that you get what you desire and we also have the nine of cups so you definitely get your wish fulfillment and that's what makes you extremely desirable what makes you desirable what okay what do we have here we have the eight of wands and master manifester again guys you know how to manifest things into existence we don't have um the magician here but i'm really getting a magician energy okay what makes you desirable we have the king of cups that nurturing energy that emotional intelligence okay that's what makes you extremely desirable as well because you know how like i said you come in and you read the room you know how to read energies you know how to assess a person see their intention their motive behind everything that they do okay and you know how to act accordingly as well okay and that's what makes you desirable we have the ten of cups guys people see you as the ideal person okay like the perfect partner ten of pentacles ten of cups yeah definitely see you as somebody that they could have a family with because these are like couples on both the cards ten of pentacles is like building okay before you have a child and then ten of cups is like you have the child and now you are you know coming together with your family and then you know having that baby and raising that baby right or in a healthy space healthy environment where everybody's happy so definitely this is what makes you desirable people see a future with you okay you have a lot of suitors it's not just sexual attraction it's also physical attraction and mental attraction okay like everything the full package okay so let's get one more card spirit we have the hermit again okay that virgo energy reliability you're very nurturing okay because virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac and six is the number of family is the number of home okay stability service to others so that's what makes you desirable you definitely have that home body vibe or that stability vibe where people could see themselves having a longevity with you when it comes to a relationship and not just like a fling and that's what makes you desirable okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye